Lauren here from Air Guns of Arizona, and today in Air Gun Boot Camp, we're going to be looking at the feet per second versus foot pounds of energy of pellets and of air guns, and why it is important to you as a consumer to know which is which. This means we're going to be taking a look at different weights of pellets out of the same gun and showing you how the different pellet weights affect the speed, accuracy, and sound of this air gun. We're gonna be taking a look at which one is the most efficient and how to make a better educated call when purchasing an air gun uh, based off of the foot pounds of energy that that air gun produces rather than the velocity that the air gun produces. First of all, feet per second is, as we all know it, what we measure our pellet velocity in. But foot-pounds of energy is actually the energy created by the pellet. We have a nice formula that we calculate it with, um, and this is the mass of the pellet, well, basically the grains of the pellet, multiplied by the feet per second squared, uh, divided by a constant, and this constant we all know and we all use as uh, 450240. That just corrects all of your units and um, a bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna get into too technical detail about that, but that is how you calculate your foot-pounds of energy. Just remember you can go to airgunsofarizona.com and we have all of our air gun calculators on there. So you can just type in your pellet weight as well as your speed that you're shooting it at and they're actually going to give you a value. When purchasing an air gun, it's always important to know what the velocity is, but it's more important to know what the energy or the foot-pounds of energy is. This is because they're gonna advertise a gun for you at let's say 1200 feet per second, but that might not be the most accurate option for you. A more accurate gun might be doing slower speeds, but with a heavier pellet. And so velocity is not everything in air guns. Um, and it's definitely something to be considered, but only when looking at the pellet weight as well. If you don't consider the pellet weight, the velocity means absolutely nothing. First step today, I have my Daystate Red Wolf high power and 22 caliber. I'm going to be using um, an Air Crony Mark I, and so I'm gonna show you, I actually have it upside down just for camera purposes today, but I'm gonna actually be showing you um, what it does to your speed and how to calculate all of this. And the Air Crony actually calculates your foot-pounds of energy for you, so there's a positive right there on the Air Crony. And I typically shoot these jumbo monster redesigned pellets out of it because these are the most accurate and the best pellet for it. I'm gonna try and show you why something like the Jumbo RSs are not a good fit because they're only 13 grains, whereas the Jumbo Monsters are 25 grains. So I'm gonna show you just on group size and effectivity why that's not the best option. Um, so it's not going to be about points of impact, so I might not hit the, the bullseye every single time, but we're gonna be looking at group sizes. Okay, so I've already preset the pellet weight to 13 grains. So let's get on to shooting. Oh my gosh, there you guys have it. Um, as you can see, that is a terrible grouping. I mean, that is an easily two and a half, three inch grouping. I was all over the page and it's just, it's just not accurate. Um, that sound that you're hearing, it's breaking the speed of sound. So the pellet's probably going 
is going over 1,100 feet per second. And that's where they always advertise guns at, right? You always see the ads in the papers that they're doing 1,100 feet per second. Well, clearly, that's not something you want, um, especially considering these are really good quality pellets. So let's change over to a really heavy pellet and the optimum pellet for this air gun. I'm gonna be shooting the 25 grain monster redesigns right now. And I'm gonna show you that these group much better. The speeds are much less, but your foot pounds of energy is more. So these pellets were actually designed to perform the best at around 800 feet per second, between the, the bounds of about 700 to 950, 980 feet per second. When you're reaching 1,100 feet per second, these pellets are actually stumbling through the air and they're not performing as they should. They're not going straight. So you might see some of these little holes being twisted and stuff, and that's called keyholing or they're tumbling or they're just unstable. So that's also another thing to keep in mind is pellets were generally not designed to go 1,200 feet per second. So that's also not a good recommendation to be shooting them that fast. So let's go ahead and shoot with these monster redesign pellets and see how they do. There you go. There you can see that grouping is much better. Um, it's probably, I would say, half an inch group size. Um, I can go measure it in just a little bit, but it would be probably be a half inch group size. Um, I did around 950 feet per second, and it was doing, you know, 50 foot pounds of energy. So it just goes to show it's more consistent. It was a softer sound. Um, coming out of my gun and it really was just performing that much better and that just goes to show I didn't change anything else I, I didn't change my power level on this gun or anything like that but a heavier pellet will just do a little bit better um, in this case and just a more suited pellet so next time you're shopping for an air gun be sure to check out your foot pounds of energy rather than your feet per second and ask your salesman to explain to you what the foot pounds of energy is on one gun versus the other when considering shopping around the same applies to a spring gun except that the heaviest pellet might not be the best one it is better to shoot a heavier pellet not the lightest pellet you can find but it is also more important to shoot the most optimum pellet out of your air gun so the heaviest is not necessarily the best one for your gun here's the bottom line you can compare a 1200 feet per second gun or pellet or result to an 800 feet per second result because the 1200 feet per second is not accurate it was probably done with a very lightweight pellet that was not suited for that gun and as you also heard it was really loud and and it was breaking the speed of sound whereas the 800 feet per second option is a lot of times a better option you're using a more suited pellet it's softer and sounds better when it's coming out of the gun and it also has fantastic groupings compared to the 1200 feet per second one. So here at Air Guns of Arizona, we specialize in matching up the pellets with the air gun, and we really try to give you the best educated advice that we can. So please be sure to call us up if there's something that you don't understand, and our sales staff will always be more than happy to explain this to you. That's it for me, guys. Please check out the link below and click to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.